Hey y'all, Data Guy here. With the not so recent release of the Tatsu API and kind of the rise of more data driven scheduling within Airflow and you know having more cross tag dependencies, I wanted to make a quick video on how you can use Airflow variables to kind of in context of that larger paradigm. Um, so what Airflow variables are, and you might know them, you might not, because Basically what they are is a way to set global variables within Airflow. Um, and you can think of them kind of like an environment variable, but instead of an environment variable, which needs to be set before an environment is created, um, you'll have to you know, reset the environment to actually have those environment variables be accessible. Variables are a little less restrictive. Um, you can set them through the UI. Um, you can set them through the CLI command, uh, which is just Airflow, you know, through the Airflow CLI um, or the Astro CLI, of course. Um, but you can also set them programmatically. And that's kind of the one I wanted to dial in on today is setting your Airflow variables programmatically. Um, and the reason I want to talk about this is because as you have, you know, with data sets and different languages between different DAGs, the having dynamic variables that you can pass between DAGs is also super valuable. Um, so imagine like, hey, I want to create an S3 file, uh, create as a data set in, in one DAG and then pass it on to the other DAG. Uh, maybe instead of, you know, needing to then just hard code in that, uh, the key to that um, S3 bucket within the second DAG, I could set a variable in my first DAG, uh, you know, dynamically saying, hey, when this uh, S file is uploaded to S3, take the current date time, append it to the end of that S3 file name, um, and then set that as a variable, uh, an Airflow variable. And then that second DAG can just reference that Airflow variable, which gets, you know, updated every time that DAG is run. So instead of having to hard code it and then constantly update it or just have one where you're constantly overwriting the same file location, you now have a way to just pass that variable name, say, hey, you know, use this, uh, use this S3 key to pull that file. Um, and so while data sets is good for, hey, hey, now I can schedule that second DAG off of that uh, S3 file, the actual process of, you know, hey, I need to uh, now define the relationship of actually extracting that data set separately um, isn't really, you can't just reference the data set. Uh, that's just kind of a URI. So variables are a good way to say, pass the key, pass the information needed to access that data set um, within that second DAG. And so what I'm going to kind of show you today is just, hey, how do I set an Airflow variable within my DAG dynamically, um, which then, you know, any other DAG can, can just use. Um, so that's what we'll be going through today. So I have a little blurb up here on the top and I'll drop the link to the code I'm using here in the description. Um, but basically the first thing you want to do is just classic add your Airflow decorators because we're using the task API for this um, and import variable from Airflow models. Um, and then obviously pendulum date time. And that's really all you need. This is a super simple DAG, just focusing on, hey, this is how you can define a variable um, within, you, uh, within your DAG rather than through the UI. Then after you've done that, classic quick DAG definition, um, and then we'll just create a task to actually set this Airflow variable. And so here we're doing exactly that. So in this task, it's just, you know, again, using that task decorator, so it's just basically just a Python task. We are just saying, hey, if variable that get my dinner is equal to none, so this is the default var, is none, um, then set this variable. Um, so what we're doing here is the variable we set with the key of my dinner and the value of chocolate. Um, and as you can see here, you know you could const you could have logic that says, hey, if there's already nothing in here, you know, put a value. Um, if there is already chocolate, then you can update it and to add more chocolate. And so this is a way of you know, hey, I can incrementally update this variable without having to actually manually go in and type that CLI command or type or go into the UI, it can just happen dynamically as my DAG gets run. And so now, you know, any other DAG that wants to pick up, you know, find out how much chocolate I had for dinner has that capability. But more importantly, this, in my view, really allows the passing of keys between data sets to get a lot easier um, because you just have, you know, kind of a central repository, almost like an XCOM, um, where you pass that variable and then you're getting it from um, that previous DAG without needing to fuss around XCOMs um, or anything like that. It's just, hey, here's a variable, update it, boom, now I got it. Um, and just kind of keeping in tandem with that practice of, hey, you know, Airflow lets you be as lazy as possible by taking away all that manual work. Um, and then the way you'll actually reference this uh, variable in another DAG is really simple as well. So, you know, you just have this variable class, you use it dot get, dot set, dot update method, and then when, so dot get gets the value of my dinner. 
Um, so here we have a task that will pull the value. So my dinner. So this could be in this DAG, but it could also be in any other DAG um, within your Airflow environment. I'm saying, hey, variable to get uh, my dinner and then return it. Uh, really simple setup. Um, and that's really all I wanted to show you today is just, hey, here's a way for you to set cross DAG variables and just pass information really easily between different DAGs that aren't really, you know, aren't explicitly linked. You know, they could also think they say, hey, you know, I have a team that's going to be generating a data set or updating a variable. And then I want another team to consume that data set um, and have that be updated every day with the most current uh, data set key. Um, so a lot of cool use cases for kind of a really simple uh, thing to do. Um, so I'm excited to see what y'all get up to with it. So have a good one. Data guy out.